Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fire Warrior. I am still uh, Nigaroth here with a very special guest. Uh, Turos Kensei. Turos Kensei, very uh, very Japanese name. You can see he's very Japanese from his voice. All of you but, know uh, Turos he is does... Persian, apparently. Uh, uh, Turos Kensei, I love that Persian anime. Yep. But yeah, we are, uh, you know, we're steadily making our way further and further into the Tau ship to, I guess, at this point, try to get to the bridge, uh, where I guess, you know, obviously the controls might be overtaken at some point by the Imperials. Um, still kind of up in the air as to the directions we're going, or what the exact point is, as it, it seems the ship is pretty well overrun by the, uh, the Imperium at this point. Well, those doors are any... The nation. It seems that you got lost into uh, Marathon to Randall. Yeah, you were uh, you were mentioning that uh, the towel symbol seems very similar to the uh, the Marathon symbol. Yeah. We promised to gloss over yeah. that, but it's, uh, you know what? Just let's put it in. It's short anyway. Yeah, and you know there. I mean, there's obviously already plenty to talk about. There's randomly dimly lit hallways and plenty we actually finally have plenty of grenades to start start shooting at people because uh, they start to become more plentiful with the shotgun and though the shotgun is kind of shit in our own you know Tau hands in the hands of the the, uh, the stormtroopers they're actually very deadly with it they don't seem to have to reload so it's just ba boom ba boom ba boom, uh, boom just completely my sense of realism is destroyed when you pointed that out now yeah, well, I've I've made sure to be as very attentive to uh, detail as possible, such as that. Ah, uh, I still hate the the image of the battle barge over uh, over in space. It just it screams, you know, static two D image so bad. Yeah. Then there's like the fire that uh, just kind of floats in the air there. Yeah, well, you know, these were cutting edge fire graphics at the time. You know, they were like fire warrior, fire graphics. Yeah, so we just had to get this elevator over here, and I'm sure we'll... Oh. Jump before you hit the ground! <laughs> I'm sure they'll be, uh, okay. I, I think we just have to go pull a switch somewhere, and it'll automatically fix the elevator. How did he miss? They're right there! Well, they were, they were ducking. I guess. Yeah, I think... I think if we had a crouch button, like if this game actually had a crouch button, which I don't think it does... I think we, I think Case would be pretty much invulnerable for, from all fire. Yeah, that's true. They say duck and cover. Yeah, and just oh, this place is just a complete bloodbath, and I don't even know why half the shit. Synchronized explosion. <laughs> explosion. That's what I said. That's the word now. We're using it. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, so. Got a few extra pieces of ammo in here. Actually, at the very beginning, if you uh, if you do decide to start this from like mission select, there are about five guys outside the door, and they give you about 32 bullets to deal with those guys, and that is really really not enough. So you'll probably if you don't run out there to get ammo, you're gonna have to switch to the sword, which is never a good idea. It's just weird, like, Tau seem to be unable to use, you know, the butt of the rifle to smack people in the face. I mean, is there a melee attack you haven't well, shown uh, off yet? Maybe I missed it. Uh, th that, that is, that, that's the sword. I don't think I, uh, I showed off in uh, a few earlier videos, but it's usually by accident. Because you're hitting them less with the blade, and it looks more like you're just trying to butt them in the head with the hilt. Yeah. So... I, I don't even know how that's supposed to work, but actually, we just uh, we ran into a new another new enemy back there. It kind of got easily dispatched. That was uh, that was a tech priest. Tech priests are kind of annoying because they they come with their own personal shields that you have to shoot down first before they get one shotted by whatever weapon you have. It's not it's not really that they have more life. It's just that. They kind of give the impression they do by having this, you know, magical shield. But they they also come with uh, plasma gun or I'm sorry, plasma pistols, 
which are really awful weapons. They seem to be burning the, the uh, people just fine. Yeah, well, the bad thing is it takes about three seconds between shots to actually fire. I think that tall dude back there was lost. We've seen him a couple times now. Pretty sure it's the same guy. Uh, yeah, it could be. But I'm also not exactly sure what that tech priest was doing, just staring at the the dead bodies in here. Well, hopefully yeah, we this... stopped him before he did anything too creepy. Yeah. And, uh... You know what? What better weapon to find in the uh, the morgue than what's what's supposed to be a melta gun? But you know, we'll see here in just a second. It ends up acting more like a flamethrower. Which, yeah, this uh, this weapon is really awful. But actually, you know, like uh, like my buddy said, this is actually a pretty short level. So, you know, hopefully, join us next time for more Fire Warrior. Thank you for uh, joining me. And for joining me, I guess.